Hey everyone, and welcome to the Beyond Life and Fitness Podcast. I'm Cheryl Patton. And I'm Megan Prince. We started this podcast as a way to connect with more people who are struggling to fit it all in. The workouts, the food, kids, work, and relationships. We know that we're not perfect, but we hope that through our struggles and our mistakes and our failures and our successes that we can help more people through their challenges and be successful. So if you want some tips and tricks to help you along your journey to be the best version of yourself, then this is it. All right, we are back talking about bulking and why women shouldn't be scared to pick up those heavy dumbbells in fear of thinking that they're going to turn into the next pro bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's like what people think when they're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to start lifting weights. I'm going to, I'm going to start, yeah, looking bulky or I'm going to start looking like thicker. Um, And I think that's like their fear, right? Mm -hmm. When they don't really, when it's hard because they don't know the science behind building muscle and how long and how, um, yeah, how long it takes to actually like get to that. And most of those people are taking things to enhance building that muscle that's not like for a lot of people that's not natural no no and not only that too but in order to sort of quote unquote get bulky or thicker you also are generally in a caloric surplus Mm -hmm. in order to match that Mm -hmm. so if your nutrition is on is on point so in the sense that you are at a healthy level of maintenance calories. It says time to wake up. That's okay. I'll edit that out. Um, so when our so when we're in a good level of say maintenance calories, so we're fueling ourselves sufficiently for the output that we are doing, then you're gonna be able to build muscle and then ideally you're gonna find that nice Goldilocks zone where you're gonna be able to lose a little bit of body fat while you are also adding a little bit of muscle at the same time. And we all know that muscle takes up less space. Mm -hmm. It's more dense. Yeah. So yes, the scale may not move. The scale may actually go up, Mm -hmm. but your clothes could be fitting looser. Mm -hmm. Um, You're going to have a lot more energy. You're going to just, yeah, you're going to look better. You're going to see your physique tighten up or change Mm -hmm. without the scale necessarily even moving a whole lot sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I even find like things like when you're building muscle, you're building a back, you know, you're building that um, V taper. So they say like things for me are like they, my back's getting wider. Mm -hmm. So my measurements will go up on my back, right? Where they'll go smaller on your waist, bigger on your legs, that kind of stuff. So when we're talking about, yeah, building muscle, it's it's way denser so you're gonna see a when you weigh 140 and then put on some muscle and still probably maybe weigh 140 your body composition is going to be completely different so that's what weight training does is change your body composition yeah. not not change your weight like if we're talking about fat loss fat loss fat loss fat loss is what women are always focusing on and I'm like here's the thing you're we're gonna every time you're in a deficit you're lowering your metabolism it's gonna slow down if you put on muscle you're speeding up your metabolism because your muscle needs more fuel every single day to just be there. So when, when it's sitting on your body, it's, it's in there, right? Like you can't, you're not like, I mean, you're not, not getting rid of it, but um, you're not going to like lose it super fast, right? Where it's going to be there for a long time. Muscles like the golden thing that you want to put on so that you're, metabolism is fast your metabolism is hungry so that you need that you burn more calories at rest when you have more muscle so why wouldn't you want to do that it's like you go out for cardio and you have to go every single day cardio 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 to burn these calories but if you put on that muscle every single day that muscle is just sitting there burning calories for you yeah it's magical yeah like yeah. why wouldn't you want yeah. to do that yeah and again like i don't like i'm sure people have heard the term but muscle is your longevity like your longevity muscle like muscle is your longevity organ that's what i'm trying to say right so we need muscle on our frames in order to live a very independent good quality of life into our 60s 70s 80s 90s Mm -hmm. whatever the case might be so 
the more you can build your muscle as you get older and maintain that muscle mass as you get older, the better your quality of life as you get older. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, like I want to be able to get in and out of a car independently. I want to get off the toilet. I want to be able to get Mm -hmm. in and out of the shower. Right. Like I, I want to be able to do that for as long and as independently as possible in order Mm -hmm. to do that. It becomes very important for me to maintain the muscle mass Mm -hmm. that I have. So I work very hard in my training Mm -hmm in order to maintain and build. And then I have my food reflect that Mm -hmm. at the same time. Right. Mm -hmm. So I've got to, I've got to fuel it. So I've got to feed that muscle so that it repairs and that it grows. And I know for a lot of women who start out on this journey, it can be very challenging to see that they may have to eat a little bit Mm -hmm. more. Yeah. But once they kind of take those baby steps and start trusting the science a little bit more and they start seeing that, okay, yeah, you're right. This might actually be working. Mm -hmm. Right. Settle in. Yeah. It's that light bulb moment that eventually happens. And sometimes it takes a few weeks. Sometimes it takes months. I know. Really depending on where you are in your relationship with food. Uh huh. Yeah, I think it makes a huge it makes a huge difference, right? When you when you know when you can explain to clients, if you're not eating enough protein, your body is going to eat your muscle. As we get older, we're losing muscle. Yes. I think I I don't know a hundred percent. I can't quote it unless we googled it right now. But I I think. That I've heard and read before that men actually, as they get older, get more muscle. Like there's a point where they like increase, like we're definitely losing muscle. So like we do starting with age 30, but I think, I think men are also in the same boat, but I think they do it at a slightly lower rate just because they have naturally higher levels of testosterone Mm -hmm. than we do. Um, But again, I would have to. Because is there a time where it peaks, where their testosterone peaks again, right? When they're at middle age? I don't know. I'd because it peaks, check. obviously, when they're teenagers. Um, and that's like an amazing time for people to start training when the boys are teenagers. Because you're like, oh my gosh, you're at, you're like, you're all peak of and testosterone. Girls. And girls and, as well, right? Yeah. Like, same thing with the girls. So, um, but yeah. It's yeah. like this magical time. But I had listened to a podcast yesterday about like women really, we peak with our like hormones and everything, if we really consistently train like a mid thirties where we're like at our really, cause I don't know if you can attest to that, but like for me, when you're starting out training, you see results, you see um, those newbie gains, the newbie gains, but then it takes a long time to kind of settle in. And when I look back to pictures at 25, when I was competing to now, and I'm 42, the m- level of mature mus- muscle is so much different, right? Because it takes, it takes so many years of eating and you're right, having enough protein to repair and making sure that like we're supplying our body with enough fuel to be able to lift and to be able to build because your body, like what's it going to do if it doesn't have enough calories for your heart and your lungs and your brain to work? It, like it has to, it has to use those first, right? So it's building muscle isn't its first like priority, you know? So you have to make that a priority, right? And really get into the gym, lift heavy, be intentional about it so that you're, um, yeah, so that you can live longer and feel better for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. It protects your muscles. It protects your joints. I mean, it protects your joints and like, God forbid, as you get older, like you fall, at least you have this, like these strong muscles surrounding those bones and joints to be able to actually yeah. keep going. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And you know, when people or when women come and I'm sure it is for you as well, they're like, well, I just want to, I just want to look like I will work out or I just want to look like I have, mm-hmm. you know, like some muscle on me. Yeah. So if you're after that type of athletic look, Mm -hmm. then you need to weight train Mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. So, which means, you know, stepping away from the threes, the fives and start going into those higher rep range or higher weight ranges, Mm -hmm. doing a few less reps, you know, slowly build up the muscle, slowly increase your weight as you get stronger, nail down the technique for whatever movement you're doing and over time. And that's the thing. People get very impatient Mm-hmm. right like mm-hmm. you didn't gain 20 30 40 50 pounds 
of body fat in six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks. It was over the course of years, usually. Mm -hmm. So give yourself that same amount of time Mm -hmm. to reverse the process, reverse the habits, get those new habits nailed down. Mm -hmm. And that way you have new lifelong sustainable habits for the body, the physique that you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to be really intentional about it. Right. And, um, it does, it takes time and it's a patience, right? It's something that you kind of have to like fall in love with and learn to feel strong and learn to feel like people. Yeah. I want to look like I lift. I want somebody, I want to walk down the street and people know that I go to the gym. Well, I'm like, then you have to do like clients can be skinny and have a hyper body fat percentage. Yes. So you have to be really careful about like where, where, um, your body fat percentage makes a huge difference how much muscle you put on. So if you want to walk down the street and look like you go to the gym, muscle is what you want to put on. Like that's like muscle is something you cannot buy. You can't go out and buy it. You can't like, it's something that takes dedication and long-term like consistency to really nail down that. And it just, it's just falling in love with training a different way. And I love when clients come to me and they're like, oh, well, yeah, I haven't really been doing any train, like weight training. I just kind of do cardio. I'm like, yes, this is going to be amazing. This will be so fun because I've watched people transform their bodies from like runners running a couple times a week, even two times a day to like not doing that at all. And then lifting four days a week. They're like, what the heck? And I'm eating more and I look better. Yes. This is the key, right? When more is not always better better actually less is better as we get older we talked about that yesterday like doing hit and that kind of stuff it's not good for us at this point because we're already stressed out our bodies are already changing so let's like do things that our body's like okay like this feels good this feels right yes and yeah women are scared about becoming bulky it's not going to happen unless you're enhancing the drugs or you're at a major surplus for a long period of time and lifting like super heavy. Yeah. And then, then even, I don't even, it depends like on your body type. Like you're not going to get this bulky look. You'll be this tight, um, toned. I think so. You may go through, I don't know. Like, do you think too, like when you first start going into like, mm-hmm. especially heavier weight training, there could be some water retention, Mm -hmm. especially if you're sore, that means you kind of overstepped it. So you've created more damage within the muscles, which means you could be holding on and retaining a little bit more water until that gets repaired and settles itself down, which is why it's super important to make sure you're drinking lots of water as well throughout this entire process. But, um, yeah, there might be a time at the very beginning where you feel mm-hmm. like you're getting Bulky. bigger. Yes, but it's in it's it's not actually happening. In fairness, it's just that you are gaining muscle, right? And then then the beautiful part about it is after you're doing that initial like let's eat properly yeah. and lift properly. Yeah. Then let's do a cut and then you can see what muscle you've built and it's beautiful, right? Yeah. But there is, yeah, that period where you have to kind of go through where it feels like you're getting bigger or your clothes are getting, your It your might pants, feel that way. Yeah. Your legs, your thighs are going to get bigger. My shirts get bigger, right? Like where I have to do like a medium for a sports bra. Sometimes like you were saying, even like a six or eight in a Lululemon top and you're like, you're not big, but like, yeah, sometimes you have to go it's going to get bigger in places and smaller in and other others. Ones, right. Yeah. So it's kind of like you have to just pay attention to those things. And when things, certain things get bigger, you have to be like, Oh yeah, that's because I'm gaining muscle. That's amazing. Yeah. It's not because I'm getting bulky. Yeah. But yeah, going yeah. through those phases I posted the other day there, you can't go through just dieting, 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 deficit, deficit, deficit forever, because then you're not going to build muscle. You're not going to change your body fat, comp- your body composition at all. And then you won't see that hard work. You'll be that person in the gym for years that your body never changes. Yeah. But if you go through periods where you're eating a little bit more, you're really focusing on lifting, then you start cutting. Yeah. Then you go back. Yeah. Then and it you- could be something as simple as just like a mini cut. Like it doesn't yeah. have to be yeah. an extended period of time. No, 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 no. And when you go through the mini cut, 
and you find at the mini cut, whatever those calories might happen to be, mm-hmm. if that feels good to you, you can hang out there for a bit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like if yeah, it's, yeah. Not, as long as it's not ridiculously low calories. Yeah. 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 But going through phases yes. where you're not always in a deficit is going to help you to be able to build that muscle, right? Mm-hmm. And then see the hard work of your results. But yeah, it's just going to take that going through phases, mm-hmm. going through things where it's like, I feel a little fluffy. I'm going to go on a little cut. I feel a little fluffy. I'm going to go on a little cut. But it's like rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Keep doing these things, right? Not, I didn't see the results, so I'm giving up and I'm not doing anything anymore. Right. It's just continually staying consistent yeah. with that. And then really just trusting the process. It's yeah. It's all about just yeah. trusting it. Yeah. Because y- lifting weights is gonna be your like for anybody, it's going to be your like that's your longevity muscle. So even even if you're not after that athletic look, do it for quality of life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In your seventies, eighties. 90s yeah right like Mm -hmm. i'd rather be the oldest person in the gym lifting whatever i'm capable of lifting Mm -hmm. than the youngest person hanging out at the dinner table in an old age home yeah Mm -hmm. and why wouldn't you want to burn more calories a day just sitting there of course why would you not want to if we're yeah if we're talking about burning calories and people like i just you know i want to be able to burn more calories a day so i'm gonna do more cardio do the weights it does the same thing well, and as soon as you, as, as you alluded to, right, as soon as you do the cardio, as soon as you stop the cardio, you're not right? burning calories. It cr- yeah, it stops, right? Yeah. Versus when you build the muscle. All day, it's going. Right? Exactly. I don't even have to do anything. I just sit here and I'm burning yeah. calories, right? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like, yay. But that also takes time. Time. Yeah. And consistency and just building yeah. it. So the next time you think you're going to get bulky from lifting weights, don't. Think the opposite. Yeah. Like, you're actually going to, like, tone up, tighten up feel better and be able to eat more yeah and when you eat more protein protein is very thermogenic like we we actually expend calories to break protein Mm -hmm. down into its amino acids in order to repair the muscle Mm -hmm. versus when you eat carbohydrates and fat Mm -hmm. it requires no calories to break it down Mm -hmm. and either use it or store it but it was protein it's very calorically expensive so again increasing your protein increasing your muscle mass you're having to burn and use more calories mm-hmm. in order to do those processes. Yeah. So I'm like, for those people that like want to be a diva, you want the, the muscle is gold. Yeah. Cardio bronze. And I don't even know what would be silver, right? Yeah. But like car- muscle is your gold standard. Yeah. Like that's yeah. where you want to like hang out. Exactly. Thanks everybody for listening today. And we truly appreciate you and let us know what your biggest takeaway was today. And if you have any questions you want answered on the podcast, don't forget to rate review and subscribe to this podcast to automatically receive your episodes and to help us reach more listeners. We would love to connect with you on our socials, either Facebook or Instagram with links in the show notes. Till next time, keep taking those small steps towards your best life.